India successfully test fired air to surface anti radar strike missile Rudram 1. And now India sends Indian Navy to Ladakh to counter Chinese alongside China help Pakistan to build surface air missile systems in the POK against India. Amid the rising tension with India along the LAC in Ladakh, India on Friday successfully tested a new indigenous air-launched missile called Rudram-1, which is designed to destroy a variety of enemy surveillance, communications, and radar targets on the ground after being fired from the Sukhai 30MK jets. The new generation anti-radiation missile Rudram-1 has a strike range from 100 to 200 kilometers depending on the altitude from which it is fired. The missile with a launch speed from Mach 0.6 to 2, the twice the speed of sound, was tested from Sukhai fighter jets against a target on the Long Wheeler Island off the coast of Odisha around 11.15 am Indian Standard Time. The Rudram-1 missile, which has an INS GPS navigation system with a passive homing head for the final attack, maneuvered towards the target based on the direction detected by the seeker and hit it with a pinpoint accuracy. All the mission objectives were successfully met, said a DRDV Indian scientist. Now China is helping Pakistan in installing the surface-to-air missile system near the Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. With the dispute on the line of actual control between India and China only surging day by day, China has taken its military-to-military -military cooperation with Pakistan to the next tactical level. The intelligence report also suggests that China and the Pakistan are working towards better integration of their military against India. The construction is in full swing near Lasana Dok in POK for installation of a surface-to-air missile system. A similar construction has also been reported on the Chinari in Jalong district and Chakodi in Haichin Bala district of the POK, as per the Indian intelligence report. China and Pakistan are working in a tandem for better integration of their forces and this year in June of 2020, Islamabad posted a senior army officer at the PL headquarters in Beijing. India's Chief of Defense Staff General Bipin Rabat already warned Pakistan that India is capable of handling two-front battle. Issuing a stern warning to Pakistan, he further said, if Pakistan tries to take advantage of any threat developing along India's northern border, then it would suffer a heavy losses. Earlier on the 9th October of 2020, an open source intelligence handle on the Twitter named the Tresfa revealed that a P-8I aircraft of Indian Navy was flying over the Himachal Pradesh, possibly headed towards Ladakh, where the India and China have been locked in a tense standoff for months. A retired Indian Navy Captain D.K. Sharma, who was serving as the spokesman and public relations officer of Indian Navy, revealed that the aircraft was live-streaming data to support the decision-making during the Doklam face-off. This wasn't the only time the P-8 Poseidon of the Indian Navy was used along the land border. The P-8I comes equipped with the ANAPI-10 radar, which it makes a rating and described as a maritime, littoral, and overland surveillance radar. As it is clear from the description, the radar can be used to monitor ground movement and is capable of providing data in all weather conditions, both at the night and day. So what do you think of China and Pakistan teaming up against India on building surface to air missile system in the POK and India is sending its navy plane to counter China in the Ladakh region? China deploys more troops and tanks near Ladakh. India to use Tibet in its talks with China and Rafael jets officially inducted into the Indian Army. Blaming each other for the new standoff in the line of actual control of the LAC in Ladakh, 
China is increasing its troops tremendously when the Indian Army have succeeded in capturing the Rengchen La and Rezang La on August 29 30th of 2020. From here, India can keep an eye on the Chinese military. China has deployed two motorized troops with three battalions in front of the Chushal and one in the west side of the Pangong to the Daulat Beg Aldi. Also, the four divisions of the battalion tanks positioned around the Spangar Gap. There are very playing grounds for the battle, so the tanks from both the sides will play a bigger role in this area. The latest round of tensions comes amid the ongoing new standoff between India and China in the Ladakh region. Indian officials and the military general have already said that the situation is very serious in the LAC or the China and India border. After all, among the first, India physically occupied a few hilltops for the first time in the Pangong So region recently. India is also in the discussions on bringing Tibetan freedom or related to the China as a trump card against China in its talks. As India is getting more support from the Tibetan settled peoples, India may use this as a leverage or an anchor against China on gaining grounds in the LAC or the China-India border. India was among the first country to recognize communist rule in China. Through 1954, the Sino-Indian Trade Agreement, India also acknowledged the Chinese control of Tibet. However, the Chinese invasion of India in 1962 reneged on this accord. In 2003, then Prime Minister of India, Mr. Atul Bihar Vajpayee, the governing another BJP led NDA government, signed a joint declaration with his counterpart, Vain Jiobai, in Beijing. This declaration recognized that the Tibet Autonomous Region is part of the territory of People's Republic of China. The first five Rafale fighter jets dubbed as the Game Changer, was formally inducted into the Indian Air Force on Thursday at a glittering ceremony in Ambala Air Force Base of India. The Defence Minister Rajna Singh, his French counterpart Florence Sparley, the Chief of Defence Staff of India General Bipin Rabat and the Ash Chief Marshal of India RKS Badari were among the dignitaries who attended the ceremony. The developer of the player unknown battleground of the PUBG game has cut ties with Chinese from Tencent or the Techie to accommodate India's ban on the game for the national security reasons. They are also in talks with the Indian government to reinstate the app back to the normal. So what do you think of China is deploying more troops in the India-China border and India to use the Tibetan freedom talks with China? and inducting the Rafael Jets, which is a game changer according to the Indian media and the officials.